Hey, thanks for having me. This is Driven 7. I've been here at every single one of them, so if you've been here before, you already know who the motherfucker I am. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Brad Lee. I have several companies. I have social media following now, just basically known for keeping it real. So here's my question. Who wants to make 2024 their best year ever? Let me hear it. All right, let me, let me see who's serious. Stand up and let me hear this shit. Who wants to make the best year ever? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Allow me, if you will, to just speak from the heart. If you guys have seen me before, you know I don't have PowerPoints and a bunch of dipshit slides and, you know. All I do is talk to you. Why? Because what I do when I'm back there is think, what could I say that would bring them the most value, the most impact? And I usually have to talk to a few people to find out what that is. Plus, I can't screw it up. So... It's almost impossible for me to come out here and screw shit up, but I can come out here and sound stupid as hell. But I'm going to let you guys be the judge of that. First thing, I'm going to speak from the heart. Fair enough? So, so I don't, all right, listen, you got to pay attention. Some of you guys in this room, matter of fact, a lot of you guys in this room, believe it or not, aren't going to make it. You're just not. The reason you won't, damn, that's what I'm talking about. The reason you won't is because of three things. You don't have the right mindset, you don't have the right skill set, or you don't have the right habits. And that's as really as hard as it is. Now, a lot of people will try to make it a little bit more difficult. There's people in the room right now thinking, Brad, it's not that simple. And I would say, well, that's your mindset. See what I'm saying? Like, you're already proving me correct. If you're already thinking it's not that simple, dude, ma'am, you're full of shit. It is this simple. I dropped out of high school at 16 years old. There's no way in hell I should be successful. I shouldn't be a multimillionaire. I shouldn't have multiple companies. I shouldn't be able to start companies like they're going out of style. How do I do it? I got the right mindset. I got the right skill set. And I got the right habits. That's it. And the reason a lot of you aren't going to make it in the room is because you don't have those three things. So I want to help you develop those three things so you can go out there and kick ass and make 2024 your best year ever. Fair enough? Obviously, mindset, folks, it goes without saying. Mindset is your beliefs. It's your belief system. What do you believe? Like right now, if you're thinking, well, it's not that easy, Brad. It's easy for you to say, Brad, this is just your mindset. It's because you don't believe shit. How do you change what you believe? Anybody know? No. You change what you believe by getting new information. You got to get new information. That's the hack. That's the secret. That's what nobody wants to say, but it's the truth. Read, folks. Read. Read something every single day. Read books. And I ain't talking about reading a shampoo bottle while you're taking a shit. Okay, I'm talking about read some books. Okay, how to win friends, influence people. If you're in the room, you don't know how to, if you haven't read that book at least five times, again, then you don't really want to win, do you? You don't really want to win. I don't want to read it five times, Brad. Well, then go fuck yourself. I always learned something when I was growing up. If, if, if they're not listening, stop talking. And I can always tell when people aren't listening because... They're not doing what I'm saying to do. I've had a million people ask me a million questions, and some of them take action. Albert's one of them. Like, Albert wanted to get on stages. He saw me on stage, 10X stage, and he comes up, you know, how do I get on stage? How do I be a speaker? How can you get me uh, on that stage? Can you talk to Grant and get me on the stage? And I said, no. Grant wasn't going to put him on that stage. So what did I say? I said, go start your fucking own stage, Albert. So so technically, you might think Albert and Sylvia started Driven, but I fucking started Driven. (laughs) I started Driven. That's why I've been here all seven years. 
No, but, but the mindset that most people develop is from our childhood, okay? We get told some things, we start to believe some things, self-limiting things, things that aren't very freaking true, but we still believe them, and when you believe them, that starts to form your mindset, your belief system. And your belief system is why a lot of you are going to be held back, okay? So to change your mindset, you just have to get new information. New information, you will change your beliefs, You have to change your beliefs in order to change your actions. What you have right now is based on what you've done so far. The reason you have what you have is because you've done what you've done. The reason you've done what you've done is because you believe what you believe. So the only way to change what you believe so you can change what you do, so you can change what you're getting, is to get new information. Like if you raise a child, anybody have a brand new baby? I have a brand new baby. I'm teaching them. I'm just going to prove my point with my little girl. She's 20 months old. Her name's Chloe. I'm teaching her that fire doesn't burn. And one day she's going to believe me. And she's going to stick her hand in the fire. And she's going to get some new information. (laughs) Hey, and that new information, no, she will. That new information is going to get her to stop believing her own dad. Okay? New beliefs come from new information. If you don't get any new information, folks, you'll never, ever, ever, ever change. And believe it or not, that's what you have to do, man. You have to change. You have to change who you are. You have to change who you're, who you're like, literally people say, I want to make, you know, uh, this much money. Okay. What type of person is going to make that much money? You have to change who you are, right? You have to become the person that makes that much money. You want to sell a million homes, you have to become the person that sells a million homes. And what's crazy with that is you have to be before you become. You have to be it. So change your mindset. Okay, your skill set, it goes without saying. Okay, some of you suck. You do. Okay, and with a sour look on your face, I can identify you. So if you're looking at me like, fuck you, it's you, motherfucker, that sucks. Okay? Don't be mad at me, dude. I didn't cause it. At the end of the day, though, it's, it's, there's good news. Even if you suck because you're new or never paid attention or whatever the case may be, even if you freaking suck, you can get good. You can get really good. You know how? Don't tell anybody I told you this. All of us rich people, we don't want you rich. We want you broke. So, shh. You practice. You fucking practice. Is that, is that rocket science, kids? You practice over and over and over. It's like wiping your ass with a hula hoop. The shit never ends. <laughs> practice and training is something you do, not something you did. It's over and over and over and over and over. Some of the best people in the world at anything, trust me when I tell you this, have lost and and failed more than anybody else. Michael Jordan has missed more free throws than I ever have. See what I'm saying? Practice, practice, practice. Anyone can get good. I don't care if you're freaking short, tall, black, white, male, female, doesn't matter. Anybody can get good just simply by practicing, drilling, rehearsing over and over and over. And then the third one was habits, your habits. Folks, look at your habits and you'll, and you'll more than likely see the problem. What are your habits? What do you do when you get up? What do you eat? Where do you go? Who do you talk to? What do you listen to? What do you allow into your head? I mean, you got to pay attention. Life is not difficult. They'll try to tell you shit, man. They'll try to tell you life is difficult. Don't listen. Life is not difficult. Oh, life's hard, Brad. Life is what you make it, folks. I'm telling you, life is what you make it. Life is fucking easy for me. Real easy. And I like it that way. People say, no, you want to make it tough on yourself. Well, only if you're an idiot. Okay, there's some people out there that believe you have to go through these challenges. I believe challenges and difficulty do strengthen you. But you don't necessarily go look them up and find them. They're going to find you. 
I'm sure if a lot of you guys are in real estate and mortgages, it's already found you. <laughs> oh, like you don't even have to look. It's right in your face. Okay, look, I, sour puss motherfuckers, I can see you. <laughs> don't be mad at me. I didn't raise interest rates. Be mad at that dipshit Biden. <laughs> you voted for him. Whoever voted, and by the way, dude, seriously, on a serious note, if you're in this room and you voted for Biden, don't you feel like a dumb fuck now? <laughs> Holy shit. So, so you got to understand, the reason most people aren't going to make it, and, and I heard a lot of you guys screaming, right? But I saw some of you guys stay seated. You weren't screaming. I'm not very excited about this shit. Who's this big old inspirational dickhead? <laughs> I'm not going to get excited. That looks stupid. Dude, you look fucking stupid. I'm serious. You want to get excited. You have to get excited. Excitement sells. Enthusiasm sells. You have to be enthusiastic. You have to be freaking energetic. Your vibration has to be up here. You have to be different than everybody else. Go look up this word, alidoxophobia. You guys all have it. I have it. We all have it. I think I kind of got rid of mine, but they say we all have it to some degree. Alidoxophobia, it's the fear of other people's opinion. A lot of people in this room that weren't sitting up and screaming and looking like a dipshit, you have alidoxophobia. Or you're just a depressed motherfucker. Either way, either way, you're not going to win, dude. I've never seen these people win. Hi. How are you doing? How's things going? <sighs> I've never seen any of those people win. I've never seen them win. Okay? I've seen a lot of people that are winners and a lot of people that are succeeding, and I've never seen one that's a fucking depressed, lame, shitty attitude dickhead. Now, I've seen some pretty colorful people, you know, very interesting, not always my flavor, but they're always, always the kind that will freaking stand up, be confident, be heard. This makes sense or no? Because again, when I said I want to speak from the heart, that's just for the girls that are in the room, so it makes us connect better. <laughs> really, really, it's like I don't speak from the heart. I'm just like telling you the truth because the truth, folks, believe it or not, is much like poetry. Not everybody likes it. But in reality, it makes the biggest impact, the truth. And sometimes people get offended when you talk about the truth. And the truth is, you know, the truth. So if you guys want to win, you guys want to succeed, you guys were all hooting and hollering. Unfortunately, everybody that was screaming, guys, enthusiasm is not enough. There's three things that you need. Mindset skill set, and habits. Those three things, if you can master those three things, you're going to fucking win. Positive beliefs, opportunities are everywhere. You have to be optimistic. I don't care the, the, the industry that you're in. There are realtors and mortgage brokers right now winning. Are there not? Okay, and so if you're like, oh, you know, the mortgage rates are stupid and everybody's stupid. Dude, I'm telling you guys right now, that's your mindset. That's your problem. You got to snap out of it. And if you're sitting here, because when I say that, I guarantee there's people in the room going, motherfucker, he, easy for him to say. He's rich, flies private, that, 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 that. That's your mindset, guys. That's your mindset. It's not my mindset. I can't come and fucking, you know zap myself into your body and make you think differently, but that's your problem. And you will never succeed until you fix that problem. Your mindset. How do you fix the problem? You get new information because your belief system is fucking moldy. Somebody taught you some wrong shit. And later on, I'm going to talk to you about some shit we need to unlearn. But right now, trust me when I tell you, you need to change your mindset. You need to master that area. You need to be optimistic, not pessimistic. You need to believe in abundance, not scarcity. Okay, especially some of you guys that might be getting a little bit low on money. Dude, it gets scary when you're low on money. I've been low on money a million times. 
okay? I remember when my ex-wife was chasing me down the street for child support, not because she was hungry, but because she was a bitch. than I was, but the judge said I had to give her fucking money and I didn't have any. So I told her, hey, I'll, I'll give it to you next month. She said, fuck you, give me my money. I said, well, I don't have it. I'm building a business, I don't have it. I really didn't have it or I would have gave it to her, but I'll get it to you next fucking month. So I get in my car and she fucking started chasing after me in her car with our little kids in the back, screaming, give me my fucking money. It was the craziest shit I've ever seen. So I pull into a police station thinking, she ain't gonna follow me there and scream and yell and act like a fucking weirdo. She pulled right in. And she was screaming and acting like a weirdo and the cop came out. She's like, excuse me, what's going on here? And I'm like, and she looked at her, motherfucker won't pay my fucking child support and ba ba dee ba dee ba dee You know the heads when they do that? So trust me, I've been without money. I know what being without money's like. I used to park my car away uh, like three or four houses down, blocks down, just so it wouldn't get repoed. I've been broke. I've been homeless on the beach over here in Malibu. I've been down and out in Beverly Hills, if, if that's, you know, a saying around here. <laughs> but, but guys, trust me when I tell you, man, you have to freaking get your mindset into abundance. That was my problem. I didn't believe that there was all the money in the world out there. There is. Money is unlimited, man. There's only a limited amount of people that are willing to go get it. Okay? Your skill set, pick something. Have you ever met anybody that's the best in the world at something that doesn't make money? The best in the world at anything gets paid. Think about that. Have you guys ever heard of the rule of 100? The rule of 100 states that if you practice every single day anything for 100 days, you will be better than 95% of the world at that thing. But that takes discipline. That takes consistency. That takes what? Habits. Your good habits. That takes good habits, folks. So you got to look at your habits. What are your habits? What are you doing every day? Who are you talking to every day? What are you listening to every day? Because believe me, people, we can get in some bad habits. And I'm not saying you can't smoke weed and not succeed. Number one, it rhymes. And number two, I've proven that in incorrect. Okay? You can smoke weed and still succeed. At least, well, let me just say, if, and by, you can hear the weed smokers, I don't smoke, I don't smoke weed anymore. I would say, don't do it. But I did it. And I still succeeded. So when people tell you some bullshit, you know, you can't smoke weed and win, bullshit. Can't, can't be an alcoholic and win, bullshit. You know, people think I'm joking, but I say I got seven kids from four women. But I can explain. <laughs> it's completely explainable. But those three things, mindset, skill set, habits, that's what you got to freaking focus on. Okay, you got to be focused. You got to get rid of all distractions. You got to keep shit simple. You got to quit thinking it's rocket science because it isn't. A lot of you guys are looking right past the answers. And what's funny is a lot of you guys are coming here for answers. When to be honest, you already got fucking answers, bitch. <laughs> what you're looking for is easier answers. I don't like the fucking answers I got, so I'm going to go to Driven and see if they give me some easier shit to do. I don't know any easy shit to do. I wish I did. I'll be the first to tell you, if you're not following me on social media, you better be following me because when I find the easy way to get rich, that's where I'll put it. So you better be following me right now. It's at the real Brad Lee. Yeah, well, if you're not following me, better get on it. Because I do drop some bombs on that shit. And I have a podcast, by the way, Dropping Bombs. That's why I call it Dropping Bombs. Because, dude, I tell, you know, I've had people call me up and say, dude, your podcast has literally changed my life. I'm like, what are you talking about? I've, I've done speeches where people say, dude, you've changed my life. I'm like, what do you mean? 
how am I changing a life? Like, that's pretty dramatic shit, don't you think? I said, I said to one guy, I said, what did I say? He said, you walked out on 10X stage and you said, brush your teeth. <laughs> Which I did. And the reason why is because I'm trying to tell these guys, you can't even brush your fucking teeth and you're trying to be rich. Like, dude, it's the details. It's the little things. It's the consistency. It's the habits. Brush your fucking teeth. Why? Because you don't want your breath to stink. Because half of you do. A couple of you did today. Who talked to me today? Look at them. I ain't saying who. But some of you guys ate a shit sandwich. And I'm acting like I'm listening, but I ain't listening. I'm hoping you'll shut the fuck up and walk away. And by the way, that's an opportunity. You're blowing an opportunity. Why? Because your fucking breath stinks. What a lame ass world this is. Life is hard. See what I'm saying? You're chasing away opportunities because your breath stinks. Because your habits are fucked up and you didn't brush your teeth. Well, I brushed them. Well, then you didn't brush them enough. Okay, or go get one of these. They're only three, four dollars. If you don't have three or four dollars, steal it. <laughs> you won't get in trouble here in California. <laughs> you won't. I want to move here because apparently you can walk into a store and as long as it's nine fifty or less, they won't do shit. A couple of ballsy security guards. Stay away from the big security guards because they're looking for it. They'll try you, but the, but the little ones, the old ones, they'll just watch you walk out up to 950. Don't do more than 950, though. Okay? Or if you're looking for badass watches, figure out where Albert lives. Okay, so, listen. We got to unlearn some shit, though, for real. We got to unlearn some shit. There's too many people that have learned the wrong things. What, 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 what do we need to unlearn? I'll, I'll give you some examples, okay? Who's heard fly under the radar? Anybody heard that before? Bullshit. Get on the fucking radar, okay? Keep quiet. Don't, don't attract attention. Bullshit. Get attention, it took me 20 years to build my first company to an eight-figure company. Eight figures for some of you is 10 million or more. It took me two years to build two or three more with a personal brand, getting attention. Attention allowed me to build two or three multi-million dollar companies in the last two years. I'm telling you, you want to get attention. But we've all heard, fly under the radar, don't get attention. What about don't talk to strangers? Who's heard that? Have you heard that? Bullshit. Talk to strangers. They're the ones with the fucking money. Okay, they always tell you where money doesn't grow on trees when technically, yes, it does because it's paper. But they don't tell you where it grows. Well, I'll tell you where it grows. It grows in other people's pockets. And in order to get in those pockets, you either have to be a friend, a relationship, or a rapist. And I do not recommend the latter, okay? But you have to get in those pockets. How are you going to get in those pockets? You got to talk to them. You got to fucking talk to them. Half of you guys won't even meet everybody sitting next to you. You're waiting to meet me and the other speakers. Fuck, we probably ain't going to do shit for you. There's people sitting next to you that, that, that literally have a deal in their pocket for you and vice versa. But, but we don't spend all our time walking around and, and introducing ourselves. Okay, I always say the more hands you shake, the more money you make. That is a true statement, 1,000%. The more hands you shake, the more money you make. Don't make it harder than that. How many hands did you shake today? Who did you meet today? Did you build any relationships today? Yes or no? Well, you know, I was getting a little busy and Bullshit, rationalization, excuses. And again, I mean, I'm not a coach. I don't coach people because I ain't showing up at your house and holding you accountable. I say it more like I'm a consultant. I just give you the information. You got to do it. But the, the truth is, is, if you don't have much money, it's because you don't know the right people. Because if you knew the right people, you'd have everything you wanted. So if you, if you have everything you want in life right now, 
then you know enough people, I suppose. But if you're sitting there thinking, I don't have everything I want in my life, it's because you don't know the right people. So what, how do you meet people? Is that difficult? Is that rocket science? Huh? No, you fucking walk up to somebody and say, how you doing? Bradley, what's your name? Agent Ubeda. What is it? Agent Ubeda. What the fuck? Thank you. <laughs> See how hard that was? I can walk around the room, introduce myself to every single one of you guys, and I'll bet you anything that there are deals all over this room for me, for you. You're just not looking for them. Why? Because we're taught to fly under the radar. What's another one? Don't talk to strangers. What's another one? I heard Albert say it earlier. Be humble. A couple of people said, woo. <laughs> Folks, don't listen to that shit. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, you do not want to be humble. Yeah, it's in the Bible, bread. Listen, if God comes down, be humble. God ain't here. Well, he is, but he isn't. None of you, none of you are God. I don't need to be humble to you. I need to do the opposite. I need to be confident. I need to, I need to value my importance. You guys, look up the word humble. Because when you, this one really gets people, especially in the Latino Hispanic, I was going to say market, but you know, <laughs> the Hispanic industry. And by the way, my grandmother's name is Celestina Jaramillo. So I'm, I'm, I'm brown, motherfuckers. <laughs> and that would bother her when I would say that, because I would say it to her too. And the reason why is because I look up the definition of humble and it says to have a low opinion of one's own importance. Yes, when you're freaking in the presence of God, not when you're in the presence of fucking Larry. <laughs> you need to walk into the room like you own the bitch. You need to roll out like you sold it. it was, oh, somebody's that fucking guy's arrogant. Who gives a shit what they think? Who are they? See what I'm saying? You're so worried about everybody else's opinion because you don't value your own. You, I need you to validate me. So if you don't like me, fuck, I guess I'm stupid and I'm lame and nobody likes me. Oh, well, he doesn't say I'm going to succeed. Fuck, I guess I'm not going to succeed. That's what it is. You got to stop doing that shit. I'm not saying go out and be arrogant and be a dickhead. But don't be humble, okay? Be the opposite. And I'm, again, I'm just telling you what worked for me. I walk in and I act like I owned a bitch, even if I don't. Okay, how many people have seen that before? That's right. See what I'm saying? Am I lying? Okay, so those are just some. How about work hard and never give up? That's all you got to do to win. Work hard. Folks, the hardest working motherfuckers in this world get paid the least. That's the truth. Do you know who's paying the hardest working motherfuckers? Ask yourself that question. Exactly. The rich motherfuckers like me. I'm paying motherfuckers. I don't want to do the hard goddamn work. That was a bullshit fucking lesson. They wanted to create workers. So they're like, all you got to do is work hard. Shit. You want to try not to work hard because the hardest workers make the least amount of money. Work smart. Put time in, but hard. Hard is the one, hard is like, you know, backbreaking labor. You do not want to do that. Never give up. Some of you motherfuckers need to give up. <laughs> I'm serious, especially in this market. Okay, real estate. I, are you guys aware you can quit? <laughs> Everybody's like, no, oh, I was hot. I should never give up. So I'm going to fucking suck for another two years and go broke. <laughs> fucking quit. There's other shit to sell. Or... Be the best in the fucking business. One of the two. You can't be in the middle, man. You better fucking own that shit. You better own that shit or consider maybe quitting that shit. And it's not a bad thing. I've quit things before. 